signals and messages, and nerve junctions. This poem will tell you about their functions. It's all to do with a neurotransmitter. It spreads the message as quick as Twitter. The impulse is passed across the synaptic cleft. From one synapse to another, you might call it theft. The synaptic cleft is about 20 nanometers wide. It allows the impulses to pass from side to side. The mitochondria provide the energy for all of this to occur. They cause some many functions. It can be quite a blur. Outside the synaptic knob, there is an increase in calcium concentration, which is the very first step of this awesome operation. This causes the depolarization of the synaptic membrane, which opens the calcium channels. It really is quite insane. Now the calcium ions can diffuse into the synaptic knob, which causes the synaptic vesicles to move together as a mini blob. The vesicles fuse together with the presynaptic membrane with great ease. This is where the neurotransmitter comes in as they move about like peas. The transmitter acetylcholine is released by exocytosis. Then it diffuses across the cleft, the th fundamental process. Acetylcholine then binds with the membrane on the other side which will allow the impulse to get on the presynaptic neurons inside. So the gated sodium channels open so things can go in. The sodium ions diffuse across the membrane, which is a little thin. The gradative enzymes then destroy all of the neurotransmitters so they don't have a permanent effect and give the membrane the jitters. The waste products are then reabsorbed into the synaptic vesicles. At least they are quite useful, unlike the measles. So that's our little poem to help you with the nerve ending. We hope you liked it all. Now get this item trending. Hashtag biology.